I know ya kwamba tutaweza kubarikiwa sana kwa sababu mgeni ambaye niko naye ni mgeni ambaye ako na ushuhuda na si ushuhuda wa kutafutilia ni ushuhuda ambao ni halisi sana. Mgeni wangu anafahamika kama Steven Shege Wawero na sasa Steven Shege Wawero anaishi katika taifa la Uingereza lakini mara kwa mara anazuru taifa letu la Kenya kwa sababu yeye ni Mkenya ni vile ambavyo anaishi kule Uingereza. Na wakati ambapo yuke Kenya anapatikana katika county ya Kiambu and let me tell you Mungu amweza kumbariki sana because he is a CEO wa kampuni saba as well as mwenyekiti wa kampuni hizi ambazo unafahamika kama Max Security Services Kenya Limited but today we are not even focusing on the business aspect of it we are focusing on how God healed him miraculously why kwa sababu tarehe 26 February mwaka 2011 akiwa kule Uingereza aliweza kupata ajali na hii ajali ikaweza kuinterfere na the left side of his brain guess what alijipata katika hali ambayo hakuwa anaamini ni yeye but also how the restoration okay ambayo iliweza kuwezeshwa na Mungu wetu ili happen in his life is the real deal that is the real testimony katika dakika Ishirina, ambazo tuko nazo hapa I know that you are going to be inspired you are going to be encouraged and also utaona ya kwamba kwa kweli Mungu anafanya mambo ambayo mwanadamu hawezi akayafanya ka mete is my name nikiamini ya kwamba tutakuwa sote kwa pamoja hey, for how long have you been there 23 years for 23 years yes hii sasa hii mwaka imeanza July ndio itakuwa ya 24 yeah yeah. And because you are a family man that means you your family. Yeah, wamezaliwa huko. Watoto wamezaliwa huko. You got into an accident back in the year 2011. Yes. where were you? What was this, you know, what the kind of an accident that you got into? Ebu 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 tuanze hapo. Um since nimeokoka, sitadanganya. Yes. Nilikuwa nimetoka out. Aha. Na nilikuwa nimepewa kitu kidogo. By then were you born again? No. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So many years, but you couldn't backslide. Oh, you look warm. Yeah. Yes. And you make fence, uh -huh. which is God doesn't Chumulia like that. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, you go to a bus, you see, the bus is a double deck. <coughs> this is a grofa. Mm. So, you go to the bus. I took a pali and I to Brixton. Then I said, yeah, Camberwell. Still southeast and southwest. Okay. So, uh, suddenly, I don't know what happened. Yes. Driver aka kanyaga break. Mm -hmm. uh, the driver of this bus. Yeah, I think he he stepped in like on um, like an emergency. Yes. So I was going down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Nika nika anguka, nika gongwa this side. So kugongwa, um, me need to get to hospital. Where? Yeah. Basi. Mm -hmm. Limepiga emergency break. Yeah, na mimi nilikuwa natemka kwa stairs. Oh because ni double decker. Yeah. Okay, so you are coming down. Yes. Meaning already umepewa kwa stage yako. Yeah. Nilikuwa nataka kushuka. Aha. Oh and then he Yeah. So I can break. Yes. Yeah. So nikaanguka nikagongwa na ile ukuta iko ile side. Kitemka stairs kuna kuna ukuta alafu sasa the, the small one staircase and then unapanda juu. Okay. So nikaanguka the next thing is just uh, hospital, King's College um, Hospital, which is it's the same college or the hospital. Nikwa na somea, nikwa na somea King's College Hospital, okay. uh, King's College um, University London. Nikwa na fanya mental health yeah. nursing yeah. degree. Okay. So I was on my first year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after the accident, um, I reported to the school. And I told them uh, I had an accident and they gave me an off. Yes. But before we get there, when the accident happened, I was taken to hospital. So ni kuzima ulizima like? Yes. How could you what uh -uh. happened after that? Mm -mm. So ni jipata uh, hospitali na I was taken by an ambulance. So it was an emergency. Okay. So uh, when ni ramuka, ni kambio ni kaya chini, somewhere like kapa hivi, ni kaya chini, diyo, you know, ni goje, ni tibiwe, sabu ni shamuka. So, mi nasikia tu ni kona headache. Headache ingine, 
Sijisikia uchungu kama hiyo. A crazy one. Crazy one. So, um, na sasa hiyo unakumbuka nini kimefanyika? Nakumbuka tu nikiwa kwa basi. Eh. Yeah, na nakumbuka nikiwa out. But hapo in between venye nilifika kwa hospitali sijui. Hata wale sijaijua lakini niliambiwa ni ambulance. So, um, after kukaa hapo kidogo nikona watu na ni these people are wasting my time. So, I uh, discharged myself. So I went home. And then uh, with a headache. Yes. So me I, I thought okay, nili assume it's just a headache. Yeah, why not to measure paracetamol here? or painkillers? Okay. Na it disappear. But it never stopped. And they had given me already some paracetamols which mm -hmm. are a bit stronger. But when I got home, I went to bed and the police came looking for me. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. <coughs> because you know like in UK you cannot just discharge yourself. They look after you without they following you. the protocol. Yes, they ha they care for you. So they came and knocked the door. Because you know to police. There were two uh, policemen. No, a, a, a woman and a, a policeman. Okay. All right. So nikakuja kuna that kashimo ile tunaangalia. Yes. Mwenye iko nje nikaangalia nikaona yenyewe iko na uniform. Was always in yona. Yes. Mimi naona wakiwa full. Ako kashimo ni kadogo like that dot. Yes. So mimi nikasema sifungui mlango na nikarudi kulala. Kini kichwa haiko acha. I think they reside is zaidi. So um two days uh, I think the following day I went back to the hospital. And then uh, okay, I got another paracetamol. I this one has inside me. no, you go and try. In fact, they were about 12. And within a day, they were able to get Yes. They are not helping. And you know you're supposed to take four, in every four hours, you take painkillers. Mm -hmm. So, I was so I carried back the, um, the third or the fourth day. Yes. And then. Um, so in other words, he kikicho kina kuma continuous. Continuous. Hata siwezi kula. So when I went there back, I told them I'm in so much pain. So they gave me uh, the Clofenac, the Clofenac or whatever it is, which was strong, a very small tablet, but very strong. So I went home. I took the first one. And I um kitchen mm -hmm. to Dogo. Then um when I went to I took the second one, I think eight hours later. But when I was going to take the third one, Nikalu's speech. I could not speak anymore. I could not even write my name or uh, concentrate. Like I don't ask me because I don't know. Yeah, I talk. In fact, when I went back to Aye. King's College Hospital, to Rizumbuana Sana, the lady I found up for reception, that Jeremy Kuangea, she cannot understand me. But lucky enough, there was a lady when I came and admit before. Mm -hmm. So I called her to Rizumbuana. Mm -hmm. I think the nurse, Alikuwa a student, mm -hmm. but the same college, Niko. Yes. So wow. I can Jeremy Kunu Kunuiza Maswali in Kamia. Miss Mombi anything because she was So I didn't even go through the protocol at Ile Nafuata Laini. Alin Chukua too. And you could feel you wanted to answer, but yes, you, you I want to answer, but <laughs> what do I, those Ooh. words cannot come out. Were you not scared? I was really scared. Because now I thought maybe I'll never speak again. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So she took me and took me um, not where people go through, but the other side which is, I think, um, the emergency side. So Nikaenda, and she called me um, um, this doctor wa Kichwa. And I told you, Mr. Jina. OK. Yeah, like in Dr. Mwanyara Dilna. Yes, a specialist. Yes, yes. specialist, yes. a lady. A lady a bit about old, about 65 or so. Uh -huh. So she started asking me questions, and she asked me questions for about Three hours. I was really getting angry because she wanted me to speak, but I cannot. Kai. Three hours sitting. She was sitting like where you are, and I'm here. What's your name? Everything. I found an patia karatasi nyanike jina. 
jinangu atasiwezi andika ha a wewe i'm serious cuz you know there we use um, first name and surname yeah so nikimwambia tu wawero or you give you right to wawero anaenda tu kwa system anakuona and date of birth so those things if you give if i give a date of birth you know nyeshana my all your all my details yeah so anakupeni ni you cannot even be able to write your no, name no couldn't because you see this side of the strange. this side of the brain is um, the reasoning uh, imagination and uh, what do you what else? and speech yeah yeah those doctors who are watching they can testify that this side you know it, it deals with those um, so for all that time munasumbuana mm-hmm. tu hapo for three hours, hours yes it's only the facial expression in a, in a monash you are angry yeah and there's nothing um, you can can do. Uh-uh. yeah najua she has a jaw already but oh, she ma. wanted to me to speak okay so when you listen kabisa then that's when she, they called um uh people who take you to the whatever so i went for a scan they took me to, for a scan they wanted me to sit on a wheelchair I refused and they told me no you have to so I had to sit on it because I could walk yes yeah but they are telling me but I cannot answer but I was like refusing yes like, no. yes yes they said no you have to sit okay but I can hear them yeah, but I cannot say no like speaking so I sat on it and then they took me to the lab where they do um CT scan so I was put in that machine and they found there's a blood clot. Ah. Yeah. Sasa hii ndio inakuletea hiyo shida yote. I was admitted for six days. Okay. And um, it wasn't easy because that was the first time me being admitted in a hospital whether yes. in UK or in Kenya. That was your very first time. Very first time. Okay. Yeah. So after ni, ad, when I was admitted I was I was being monitored by more than 30 doctors. Mm-hmm. Well, staff. There are doctors, there is um, psychiatrists, there is a uh, physiotherapist, the speech therapist. Yes. All those some of them are students, others are specialists. Mm-hmm. You know, they are all mixed. Some are, are nurses already. Yes. Some are doctors, nurse, uh, students. And uh, you know, I was praying very hard cuz ukiacho kwa uh, bed peke yako na hujai kuwa pale kama hapo tena mm. it's scary yeah it's really scary and you are not talking and i'm not talking so there is nobody i can tell anything by then ulikuwa na watoto wangapi when this is happening uh two were they able to understand what is happening with our dad May- maybe my son but he was really also scared cuz uh, anasoma hapo next so it's just uh, akitoka shule anapitia hapo yeah tulikuwa tuna anakuja every 3 o'clock 3:30 unamuona hapo tunakuja tunakaa na yeye akiboyeka anaenda home so ni yeye aongee alikuwa ananihumia aongee wewe ni kuangalia tu eh alikuwa ananihumia sana and by that time bado watu haujajua kuandika ah uh-uh. that's funny it was and very very strange mm-hmm. so for the 6 days you were admitted yes and then you know uh, the bible says god sent his word and healed them i was really praying and god did his his work although it was slow you know but sure because okay when you give up on something yeah god god doesn't rush and he's never late uju uliko naomba uliko naomba kimoyo moyo yeah so as you need to fanya nini you know you know just una unaombea uko ndani because uwezi toa words we, we. tena hata ukitoa words uwezi kelele because kuna watu uko hospitali pia uliwahi fikiria maybe <coughs> sitawaiongea tena did you ever think about that i don't think i did but i was really scared that i cannot lie because uh, you know in, uh, when you're in the uh, lowest Moment. You know, moment yes you know you have to you know thank god because you know when you 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 show gratitude to god and to 
human god comes in yes alafu anakuheal yes but to be honest i never thought that he nifikiria sasa nimekuwa cabbage wow yeah and the doctor will always recommend maybe something like an operation to be done that's what they wanted to do and then uh, suddenly after six days i gained my speech back so there was no way they could operate me when we were just when you were just about to be operated yes, they on. were waiting for seven days kama itakuwa imerudi kama itakuwa imerudi the following day straight away but uh, thank god I'm do you here. remember how it came back No I just found myself speaking. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> this you know the, when they are coming they are not they are not less, like just watching me they are speaking to me. So my physical therapist uh, a lady um, was coming to I mean my speech therapist sorry. Alikuwa anakuja na an interview anaweza maswali all these things. Yes. But uh, after hiyo I think one day she just came and akaanza kuniza maswali nikajibu akaona oh in fact that day alipigia tu yo daktari mkubwa akamwambia akamwambia hey, he speaking finally yeah we don't need him here anymore eh au kujua venye nilikuwa nimefurahi and the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah cuz nilikuwa naomba you couldn't believe it i couldn't believe it oh my unaona mtoto wangu huyu mdogo Desri alikuwa anakuja alikuja hospitali once anza kuniuliza maswali That's when Leona and yeah this thing is like you know that. serious dad bono uko na mashindano why do you have needles on your hand and you have pipes sinikuwa na vitu huko zina monitor you know no i'm wondering how do i answer she's only five years i cannot speak so mama kindi kwanza alijibu yeah kwaambia dad is very sick so he cannot speak maza. yeah cuz aezi Uh, my kid don't speak Swahili or Kikuyu it's just English English and now when the mother is explaining to her of course that crushed you yeah cuz now you're not able to do that yeah. and explain yourself exactly alafu unajua vile nakapenda yes you know so nakaona kiko hivi 5 years old kama hizo maswali kama hizo so finally this speech coming back mm-hmm. it was just a pure miracle it was you know we have doctors in church we have doctors all over maybe some of the doctors who watch and they can testify when you have a blood clot in the brain yeah either you get an operation yes or a miracle happens yes mine was a miracle yes yeah. and did they finally kind of maybe confirm that the blood clot was no more um a year after oh, okay when i was um, discharged i was having a speech therapist coming to my house every other two days and she was interviewing me and we do games we play with some um beats you know is it a bit of the utoto yes you know me no ni kama umerudi mtoi yeah sasa bwana anza kunisumbua i had to start learning again how to speak all I, over again yes i was speaking like a small baby mm-hmm. so um when i get the speech back yes there are some words i could not even pronounce yes. even t- yes. even today yes but most of them have come back yes yeah now, and eventually now yeah you are back and mm-hmm. you know you can speak and you're okay yeah i can write I can and move. that's yeah you can now write the way yeah. you used to na nini yake ilikaa sana the effect of that How, yeah like, yeah i did because i recover every day when i went for the second uh, ct scan um or oh, mri scan whatever it is they told me yes they can see there's a blood clot inside but it's clearing yeah it's better than how it was okay then i went to another doctor and anifanyia hizo kucheza na hizo beats for another 3 hours yes and i felt everything yes oh oh and you see this time i was in college i was doing um, well university mm-hmm. i was doing uh, mental health nursing psychiatry nursing So I had to drop out because when when I got the accident um I told the school and they gave me one year off wow so I came to Kenya yeah 
in uh, April yeah. 2011. Yeah. And I stayed until July okay. 2011 and yeah. I went back. Okay. So I thought I was really healed. Yeah. People here could see me but they didn't they didn't really understand what, mm, was what going you were on going through. through yes because i didn't tell anyone yes when gine what did you are after yes after after sister mefiana testimony yes which i wrote on facebook and did you ever go back like to college i went back and um they admitted me again because i had to go another okay, test okay all right and after that they they told me okay I started again. Okay. Let's see. Because I kusoma. Okay. But um, I was I wasn't getting anything. My memory was still very low. Yeah. Very very low. Okay. So I did the exams and I failed all of them. Yeah. Because I could read read like right now. The next second ni kena kuandika ni msahau. Msahau kila kitu. Kila kitu. Nasi wao unataka. Nasi wao unataka. It's just happening. Yeah. Yeah. Because before you couldn't repeat And for how long did it kind of happen to you that way? And then how finally you were able to pass you, your exams? Well, okay, I did three exams. Wow. Yeah. And I repeat my letter too. Okay, Timba too. Yeah, Zote. So I had to um, um, discontinue. Okay. And take a break for five years. Yeah. And they told me I can go back in five years. Yeah. Hey, hey. But I never did. Yeah. Um, I think God had a calling for me. Yeah. And that's why, that's when I started my business. Okay. Yeah. So Kurudi Tena? Sikurudi. And now a business was born out of it? Yes. Rajua, my dad was, uh, was like, just go back, end at two. Yeah. End at some, yeah. part a degree. Nikamuliza, dad, si mtu wenda kusoma ndiyo at least earn more yes. or to better your life. Karambia, yes. But I'm even earning more money than those people who are who have degrees yes ni meandika watu wenye kona degrees yes. na mimi sina yes so so finally god came through for you yes. in a big way yes na chochote kile ambacho shetani alikuwa amejaribu kuibia mm -hmm. mungu amekirejesha yes is that Surely what gave surely. you the motivation to be doing this ministry of helping the needy or how yes maybe that's, in, that's, maybe in a minute it, can you explain about that as well <coughs> yeah that's how it came about okay um cuz Okay, I have gone through a lot in life. Na ni meonia watu wengi sana yeah. umeteseka. Yeah. Well, sijasema ati mimi ni meteseka such. Yeah. Amba my parents yeah. were not helping. Yeah. My dad was very helpful yeah. in everything. Yes. Tusomesha vizuri, yes. tusumeenda London. So, it's not like that. Yes. It's like the way I see people yes. going through. Yeah. And, and I have that heart ya kusaidia. <coughs> Kama ningekoa Bill Gates ama somebody else. Yes. Sidani Kenya wangekuwa na shida. Yeah. Ningekuwa nikipeana sana. Yeah. But um, God called me to to be a financier okay. or what do you call um philanthropist. Yes. Yeah. So you do it we in collaboration with people of good Yes. Meal? Yes. Um I have friends. Okay. Especially now that we have now registered the organization. Okay. Which is um, Maxi. Okay. By there's a C. It's M A C X I E okay uh, CBO okay uh, talented CBO okay this one will be helping people the elderly people yes um, like it doesn't matter whether it's a man or a woman yes from about 80 and above okay you know that these people who are born in town yeah they don't have a land yes maybe the children um, went and abandoned them y yes so Hawana pali, wanaishi tu hivyo, okay. maisha mbaya. Yes. And you see these people have toiled a lot yes. in life. Yes. Wametoa taxes or even if they haven't, you know, um, you know, contributed in tax mm. in Kenya. Hawafai mm. kuishi maisha mbaya, yes, 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 yes. siku za mwisho. Yes. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's someone who's looking at this program probably, mm -hmm. got involved in an accident. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe he cannot speak. Mm -hmm. Ako very worried about himself. Mm -hmm. You were there. You didn't know kama ungewa yongea tena. Mm. And you are here testifying. Yeah. So you can speak, your speech came back, you can write, you can do your own things. Mm -hmm. You are a CEO of mm -hmm. all those companies, you mm -hmm. know. And God's grace has been upon your life and we thank God for that. Mm -hmm. What can you tell that individual looking at that camera in a minute? Uh, just have faith, believe in God and believe in his word. 
hiyo nilikuwa nasoma um, today nilikuwa nasoma um, Psalm 107 verse 20 yeah. he says he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their their destructions you see god alituma word yake yes because in the in the bible it says in the beginning was the word yes. and the word was god it was with god and the word was god yes you see so when you have um for example if uko na accident ama when mgonjwa usishinde ukililia god na kushinda uki ukimblame don't blame god murudishia shukurani and atakutoa huko amen at, 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 ataku heal yes yeah because he did it for you yes and and finally for someone who may want to partner with you mm-hmm. how can that happen uh, okay we have a page okay, which okay. is m a x m a x sorry m a c x i okay m a c x i e okay talented cbo all right that Now, is the facebook page yes okay there's a page and there's a group all right so either of them i will answer um, the questions okay needed kile kitu takuwa sawa sawa but the bottom line is mm. god is a healer because he healed you he healed me yes asante sana yeah wow mpenzi mtazamaji that is bwana steven shege wawero right there akikoleza vile ambavyo aliweza kukabiliana na hali ambayo alikuwa anafikiria kwamba hata aizungumza tena So madaktari walikuwa nasubiri the six days ishe the seventh day kama hangekuwa ameweza kuzungumza basi afanyie operation then god came the very last minute and said no 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 hakuna operation ambayo anafanyiwa and his speech came back now vile ambapo Mungu alikuja wakati ambapo ilikuwa imebakisha tu kidogo hivi operation ifanywe ninajua hata wewe umebaki kidogo ufungiwe nyumba umebaki kidogo sijua ambiwe nini umebaki kidogo uacheshwe shule hapo ndipo Mungu atakujia and you will also have a testimony kamete is my name hadi wakati mwingine bye bye